Have you been trying to lose weight and your body is not responding? Maybe that old weight loss routine is no longer working? I spoke to Dr. Nash earlier about two internal issues that could be sabotaging your weight loss. Dr. Nash, I have to tell you, I, I love our conversations because you are changing lives when you join us here in Las Vegas now. Well, thank you so much, JC. I appreciate you saying that. You know, that's the goal, especially right now with the health crisis that we're facing, is we really want to get people in a better position to fight that problem, get back to work, and get back to being healthy. Well, we were talking about something here today where you're talking about, if you're out there watching right now, and, and you're, you're eating less, you're moving more, but you're not seeing that weight loss, which you were telling me earlier is that there could be something internally blocking that fat loss. Yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, the biggest problem people are facing right now is the fact that four out of five people who are obese and one in three people who are just overweight literally have problems that are blocking their body's ability to burn fat properly, which means even if they eat less and move more, nothing's changing. The body's not getting smaller and the body's not dropping that body fat. Well, so what is the first issue that could be blocking that fat loss? What is the actual issue? Yeah, so the first issue is a hormone problem. So a lot of times when we talk about hormones, men will think about testosterone, women will think about menopause, but these are actually dietary hormones and there's up to seven of them that can be dysfunctioning. And because they function like a light switch to the body, if those light switches are in the off position, it doesn't matter what you're doing, the fuel that's being burned is not body fat. You're literally just spinning your wheels. All right, so what is the second issue that keeps someone from burning body fat? The second problem is actually now affecting 40% of Americans, including children, and it's called fatty liver disease. And the problem with fatty liver is that the liver is the only organ that turns your fuel from your body fat into an energy that your body can burn, which means if you're gaining weight easily, if you're dieting and exercising and you're not seeing a change, and if you're seeing a swelling belly, then that damage is coming from inside your body and needs to be addressed before you're gonna see any significant weight loss. All right, if a fatty liver has, I mean, kind of broad symptoms, how is someone going to know that they have this issue? If you wait for your doctor to find it, they have to do a very special test to find it. It doesn't have any symptoms, but the way that you find it is to meet two set of criteria, and I go through both pieces of that information when I do the evaluation with all my private clients. Okay, if you had any hesitations about calling Dr. Nash, she's going to change things right now because you always bring an amazing offer for everyone. What do you have for us this week? Yeah, so of course, usually when we have a talk like this, people want to know, do I have this hormone problem? Do I have this fatty liver? Is it stopping me? The best way to find out is for me to do that evaluation with you. But I only have about 10 spots because it is very popular when I talk about this topic. Of course, the best way to get it is either to call my office or to go to that website that you're seeing on the screen. And if you mention you saw me with JC, then we're going to be able to do it for under $10. So really, you can't beat the price to find out if you've got something hiding in your body and getting it fixed.